everybody Al here. I uh, just wanted to do a quick video, uh, talk to you guys about the plans I have for my car. Um, I got my tuning device and I'd like to show it to you. Check this out. All right, check this out. Here's the device. Um, I decided to go with this N-Gage. Uh, this device has been out for a while, nothing new. But uh, this is what I decided to go with. It's pretty cool. Uh, I've seen them on the web. Uh, guys have been using them for a while. And uh, it was really easy to download the tunes that were emailed to me. Um, uh, Beef, Beefcake Racing has a YouTube video that explains all of that. So it was a piece of cake. Here's the cables. And I've got my uh, window mount, this device right here. And uh, we'll put that, I don't know, I guess this is something that we can put, like say right about here, mounted here for the time being. Um, I eventually uh, wanna pop that middle air vent out and put it in there. I think it would look nice, but uh, I think for the moment, we'll just mount it to the windshield and do it that way. As you can see down in Florida, you need to have generators. Got a couple of them. Uh, just prior to Hurricane Irma hitting a few months ago, I ran out and got that one. And it's a good thing I did. Got a little oil here, a little filter. Do an oil change on my daily driver and uh, get that all squared away too. So here's a look underneath the hood of the car. Uh, this uh, 2018 uh, Mustang GT has this big engine cover across the top. Uh, it doesn't really let you get a good look at the motor. Um, don't really know why they did this for sure, but um, I don't know if I really like that. Uh, I kind of like the, you know, the 15 to 17, even the, uh, the 11 to 14, you could at least see a little bit of the motor. But um, let, me, uh, let me take this engine cover off so we can get a good look at what's underneath. So here now we can get a good look at the motor. Uh, I don't know, I, I guess it doesn't look that much different than previous models. But, um, you know, it's the same head box and all of that stuff. Uh, intake manifold is a little different. Guys are swapping them into earlier cars, making a little extra power. And uh, over here, you see some different stuff. Uh, looks like a, you know, you got the um, direct injection pump there. And uh, it looks like you got, uh, you know, two fuel systems. You got fuel rails, one for the direct injection and one for the port injection. Looking pretty cool, but uh, yeah, this is, I mean, this is what it looks like. You know, you get a, get a good look, you know, what the 18 motor looks like. Really cool. So basically what I'm gonna do with this car is uh, I'm gonna drop these tunes in, uh, data log it, um, let Lund, you know, get it all squared away. And uh, then I'm gonna put it on the dyno. Uh, I'll find a dyno shop that I can put it on and um, try to get the numbers on it just to see how it's performing. And then after that, um, I'm gonna be looking at putting a Whipple on this car. Uh, I like the, the Whipple. Uh, looks like a nice clean bolt-on install. And uh, I'm gonna be looking to do that. Uh, I'm looking at some shops now at this point to see who's the best candidate to do it. Uh, there are some shops here on the West Coast that, that uh, could do a pretty good job. Uh, but there's also some pretty good ones over on the East Coast, so I'll be, I'll be looking that way just the same. But really, all in all, uh, overall with this car, uh, my plan basically is to do bolt-on stuff, uh, whether it be, you know, just a simple bolt-on supercharger, you know, one and done, just, just do that, uh, take what it gives me, um, and pretty much, you know, enjoy it that way. Uh, I'm not racing, uh, you know, I'm not really a guy who goes to the track a lot, uh, I might take the car to the track just to see how it runs, you know, what, uh, you know, what kind of times I would run, etc. but I'm not really a track guy. So, uh, so the idea here is to just bring it to all of you guys to show you what basic bolt-on things will do. Uh, I'm going to be running it on the 85, and, um, you know, so uh, we'll, we'll see how all of that goes, and then, uh, you know, we'll just take it from there. But we're not going to have a built motor. I'm not pulling the motor out. Uh, I'm really on the fence about even if I want to do anything with the exhaust, you know, I'm not uh, really into loud exhaust and things like that. Uh, so I'm likely to leave the, the exhaust sock and just, you know, huff it through the cats and, and keep it quiet. 
Uh, so that's it for today, folks. Until next time, Coyote Car Guy, over and out.